All right, I'm back. I was just talking about this hub ledge, and it cut me off. I don't know. Maybe was this classified information? This hub ledge in San Francisco. So anyway, this is Andrew Thaxter. He was a buddy of mine. Was a buddy of mine, um, and uh, he was a really good skater. And this is actually a switch nose slide down the clipper. Um, and if I remember correctly. I think he did this switch one foot. I believe he lifted his foot up for a minute. So uh, he was the first person to ever do that on the clipper uh, on film that we saw. So um, that guy behind him, I think 50 50 it. Yeah, his name's Kevin Blair. He actually flies F 15s now for the United States Air Force. So. Yeah, he's got some interesting stories, too. He can say, I've 50-50 the uh, Clipper in San Francisco, and I fly for the United States Air Force. Got a bunch of other stories, too. I mean, not crazy ones. He's a straight arrow guy. But, uh, oh, yeah, here's that other, just a copy of the Tom Knox ad. So, all right, so I did a bunch of photos that ended up in this magazine called Paying in Pain. It was a local Central Valley skate design. Um, let's see. Should I go from that? Or, yeah, whatever. I'll go back. I, there's another one in Skateboarder Magazine here, but I'll go back to that. So just every once in a while, I'd submit some photos to uh, this guy, Joey. In, uh, <laughs> paying in pain. Now, skateboarders are kind of grungy, dirty, in for the most part, well, actually in Fresno, yeah. Um, yeah kind of folks, the, I'm saying that being a, a proud skateboarder, I love skateboarding. I'm not embarrassed of my dirty fingernails. Um, I have them for a reason. But, uh, so this is one old issue of paying and pain. See how it's kind of primitive issue 17 issue 17 two dollars but uh i'd send some photos this right here was actually in uh an old friend of mine's backyard they called this the monkey bull uh his nickname was monkey boy for a while and uh because he was he climbed up to some rafters and uh was hanging from the rafters like uh that sounds terrible. Okay, so he climbed up to these rafters and he was hanging from his hands, climbing with his hands across these rafters and he was hanging there and somebody said something about, he looks like a monkey. God, I might need to redo this video. I can't say that in any way, shape or form without sounding like some kind of, or without somebody being able to say, that sounds racist. Long story short, uh, he embraced the name and would, would he use it. Anyway, God, how does he have to go off on a tangent? Because all this, like, politically correct everything. And, like, it wasn't even me that said it. Uh, anyway, so that's, you know, just a photo I'd submit. Some other photos. Look like somebody threw up up there. Who's that? Who is that? All right, so here's another paying in pain. <laughs> this is so hard to do. Backwards. All right. Maybe I'll do another one of these where I scan this in, but I don't know. Maybe it'll be more entertaining for y'all to laugh at me. I don't mind. I think some of it's kind of funny. Oh, so there's skate camp. Oh, yeah, here's a backyard. Here's a... I did a little story on... Uh, Backyard concrete, that was a skate park we made. A little bold out corner there with some brick coping. And then uh, showing how we backfilled everything. Uh, this again is the monkey bowl. This is uh, Cole. Let's see, we got Nate Mallow back there. And is that Peacock? Uh, no, that's not Peacock. Yeah, that might be Peacock. Uh, Peacock is a photographer and videographer for uh, Thrasher magazine actually and um, 
So that's coal. And then you get um, name and uh, peacock. So see him shooting that hose, shooting the water over the backyard. That's kind of messed up, right? That's actually my backyard, so it's all right. I got clearance. But that was the monkey bowl. That thing was like 14 feet deep. I don't know. It was deep. It was almost impossible to skate. A lot of people got hurt in it. Uh, but we made an ad out of it, draining it. That's how we used to drain pools. Get a pump. Drain the pool. Go skate it. Try not to break your leg. You get a uh, metal plate and a whole bunch of screws and a pin. Because eventually the screws and pins will come out. So that. Uh, Oh, here we go. Here's the vag. Here's some old pool. Yeah, the vagabond. Sorry, I had to finish what I was saying. The vagabond was a famous pool that a lot of people flew from all over the world to come skate in Fresno. It's up here. Um, this is Bart right here. This guy was a really good pool skater, and I heard maybe a year or two ago that Bart passed away. Bart was like one of the nicest guys. Um, really quiet humble guy a lot of skaters are loud obnoxious goofy nothing wrong with that that's fine the personality part was just a quiet nice guy he ripped he was an amazing skater but yeah he i met him here at the vagabond um, that place was interesting you know Everybody's been to the Vagabond. Every pro skater you've ever heard their name um, from, yeah, almost every pro skater that you've ever heard their name has probably skated at the Vagabond if they skate pools. This is another ad I did. Uh, photo I took. Jeez, Kevin Blair. That's the guy that's a F-15 pilot now. He's skating up a wall, I don't know, about eight feet up or so. Uh, that was a skate event we did with Baker Skateboards. Let's see here. God, I hope you guys aren't getting bored. If you like skateboarding, you're probably not getting bored. This is uh, probably a lot of stuff you haven't seen before. So there's Tom Knox. Took this photo of Tom Knox right here in uh, the Ballard Bowl in Seattle, Washington. Let me see. There, photo of Mike Barden. I mean, not that you're questioning me. This isn't that that big of a well. To some people, this is a big deal because Tom Knox and like Eric Dressen and all these guys from Santa Cruz are like the, the kings of skateboarding, and uh, two I grew up watching. So yeah, here's another couple pages. So I met up with um, Tom and Eric Dressen actually, and. Um, at Burnside. Well, we, we started at Burnside and then we kind of went some other places. Uh, Ballard Bowl, Burnside, but this over here is Burnside Bridge, underneath the bridge, skate park. And this is Orange Cove, California, right here. Um, so we'd go to a bunch of different places, just go shoot photos. And that guy is a badass skater. He's older than me. He can still do all this stuff. I guarantee he can still do all this stuff. Um. Mm, oh, okay, and then this is Justin Stargard, actually. He's a guy that skated for my skateboard company. I sponsored him. All oh, this paper going everywhere. And I did this photo and did this ad right here in this same magazine. So that's actually that photo is at Burnside. Yeah, that's a Burnside. Justin Stargard. Yeah, that's a Burnside in Portland, Oregon. So that ended up in Paying and Pain. Now this is, let's see, Concussion Magazine. This is a different magazine. This is a, not a local magazine. Oh, this was, I did an ad. Oh, I don't have the actual photo for that one. I just have the ad in the magazine. I have the photo. Oh, I have the photo downstairs. It's in a frame that I put away. Anyway, um, this is Ryan Johnson. So Ryan Johnson is 
uh, kind of a skateboarding legend in Fresno. Well, not just in Fresno, actually around the world. There's a lot of people that know who Ryan Johnson is. He's the guy that rolled in off of the roof of the Vagabond Hotel into the pool, busted his chin, uh, made it onto the cover of Thrasher. It was like the biggest thing in skateboarding for a while. Like People go, whoa, can you believe he did that? Uh, he did a lot of other things. He grinded the longest. He had a world record for grinding the longest rail. The uh, the Fresno uh, City Hall, actually. They have a building that looks like a spaceship. It's pretty cool. Um, but they have a stairwell that goes forever. And he 50-50 that stairwell all the way down. It's in, uh, I think, the New Deal video. I, I can't remember which one it is. But anyway, sometimes I get together with Ryan Johnson. We go out and shoot some photos. This day, it was uh, foggy in Fresno. If you've been through Fresno, seen the Thule fog, you can't see your own headlights. Uh, we went on a foggy day. It was a little damp. That bowl that he's shooting out of, transferring out of, is about 12 feet deep. And then he's launching over this gap to this bowl, which is, I don't know, about eight or nine feet deep. And yeah, so launching out of that one, landing in this one over here. And nobody at that park had ever seen anybody do that. And it was wet. So that made this ad, S1 Skateboards. And then the, I actually, I was watching this video with Kathy, my ex-girlfriend, on YouTube. I was telling her about Ryan Johnson. We were watching this video. I'm watching the video, and in the background, I see me taking the photo. I had no idea I'd ever made it into that video. So that's on YouTube somewhere. Ryan Johnson, something, something. Um, oh, here's here's the same thing. Here's, this is in Skateboarder Magazine. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't show you the cover of that last one. So this is Concussion Magazine. Uh, that's a national publication, possibly international. I guess everything's international with the uh, internet now. And then this is Skateboarder Magazine. And everybody would ask me, you shot this photo? No, I wish. That's an amazing skateboarding photo right there. That's good lighting. Really high quality camera, probably a Hasselblad with a, well, I won't get into all that. Um, but I shot this ad right here. Ryan Johnson, same one. I was just showing you. That's straight S1 helmets. So, got a paycheck for that one. Uh... Man, I never got a photo in this magazine. This is just one that uh, actually Ryan had uh, a copy, an extra copy of, this is what I was talking about. I don't care who you are. If you're not into skateboarding, whatever, uh, this is still kind of interesting. If you just kind of look at the photo, and I don't know who the took, I don't know who took the photo. Maybe this guy named Jamie Camp, he took a lot of good photos. He was a dick, but he uh, took a lot of good photos um, for a lot of these magazines. He was a really good uh, skateboarding photographer. Uh, but look at what this guy's doing. This is Ryan Johnson riding off the top of this hotel into, I can't, I don't, I don't remember how deep the Vagabond was, 12, 13 feet, something like that, um, and landing it and got it on video busted his chin open, went to the hospital, got some uh, some stitches, and then uh, he gave me one of his copies, and then, you know, I just said, hey, sign it to my son. So, uh, sign that to my son. Where's the other skateboarding stuff? This video's been pretty long. You know, I've got some other skateboarding things I can go through, but let's see, yeah. This one's been long enough. I'm going to have to edit this together anyway. All right. Uh, thanks for listening to that, everybody. If you, I hope you thought that was entertaining. Uh, just some some of the random stuff I've done in my life. I try, I wanted to turn this skateboard company into uh, you know, a huge company. Uh, we treated it more as a hobby along the way. And there were some other, some other things that kind of helped it not, not happen. But... Um, we were having a good time out traveling. You know, I had the Chevy truck with the, we spent $500 to, uh, to buy an old travel trailer, spray painted the whole thing black, 
took that thing almost all the way to Canada. We would have went into Canada and back, Canada and back um, or out to the uh, the islands out there off the coast of Seattle, uh, but we were starting to run out of money. We weren't sure if we were going to make it back or not. Um, so it didn't make it quite into Canada, but that thing's been uh, the Chevy truck with the, uh, the trailer with all the guys has made it from almost all the way from the Canadian border to the Mexican border. And uh, that was a good time. All right. That's all I got to say about that. I'm out. Good night.